Craig, new at 11, and we are hearing directly from one of the South Florida teenagers accused of going on a destructive crime spree. Their target, Hollywood City vehicles. CBS 4's Carrie Cobb live tonight in Hollywood with that suspect side of the story. Carrie. That's right, Rick. First, the police report in this case says that Hollywood police kept a marked police unit and a code enforcement vehicle here at the Driftwood Recreational Center to try and deter crime in this area. Instead, four people are accused of vandalizing those vehicles to a tune of almost $7,000. Smashed out windshields, dents, and lots of other damage, including a possible firecracker ignited on the hood of the police car. Hollywood police say this is evidence of a night of vandalism by a group of young people at this police substation and Driftwood Recreational Center one night last month. We're very happy to catch these guys because if someone is blatant enough to do that to a police vehicle in front of a substation, what are they going to do to the community? Investigators say social media proved to be their undoing after damaging this Hollywood police car and Hollywood code enforcement vehicle. Arrested in the case, Jonathan Barroa, Zachary Novak, and two juveniles whose names were not released because of their ages. Police say Barroa posted videos to Instagram showing the cars being smashed up. It was pretty blatant that, hey, look at us. We're going to mess up these police cars, and on top of that, we're going to show the world. I'm not violent mischievous person. 18-year-old suspect Zachary Novak wanted to share his side of the story and answer our questions. Do you remember smashing in the windshields? I don't, honestly. Do you remember setting up a firework on the police car? No, no fireworks on the police car. Novak admits he was there and admits walking on the police car, but he said he was intoxicated the night of the vandalism and doesn't remember taking part in anything worse. He feels the police went too far by charging him with a felony. But he told us investigators informed him that if he was part of this activity in any way, he's just as responsible. I know I screwed up. I screwed up. I admit it. I won't lie. But teenagers are going to make mistakes sometimes. Some people don't think, and I admit I didn't think. That young man told me he hopes to put this legal issue, deal with it, rather than put the issue behind him, go to college and get a job. Hollywood police tell us the suspects in the case are being charged with criminal mischief. Live in Hollywood, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight. Carrie, thanks very much.